powerful, impactful, life-changing. This is the teaching ministry of Apostle Faith and Abuela, where supernatural things are happening through the anointed Word of God. This prolific preacher and dynamic teacher of God's Word is changing lives all over the world. Are you ready? Because your life will never be the same. Your success is directly related to your submission to God's Word. We are not here to do what we think or feel. We are here to do what God's Word has approved. If you're going to succeed in life, God must come first in everything you do. Faith in God does not fail because its origin is God. Here is Apostle Faith Man Owen. You're welcome to this live transmit broadcast today as I bring forth the engrafted word of God. I believe that God's word will take you to the next dimension of your life as you respond to his word by faith. I'll be sharing on help us for your dreams. You see, when you have a dream, a vision, an assignment from God, you alone can accomplish it. God will never ask you to do something that only you alone can take care of. There will be other people that will be connected to that vision, to that assignment, to that calling that God has given to you. So today we'll be sharing and help us for your dreams. People who will come to have that dream, to make that dream come to pass. Because your dreams that are from God contains His energy. And for that reason, is going to attract people to come in. But we must learn to receive helpers, those that God wants them to be part of our lives to help us achieve this dream. To help us. A lot of people have great vision, they have great ministry, but no helpers. No helpers. Nobody is out there to help them, to support them, for that dream to come to pass. So you see that ministry being shut down. There are many churches today that have lost their building. They lost that building. That, that, that building was meant to be paid for. The pastor struggled and struggled and struggled, looking for money from one bank to the other. They got the money, then they couldn't pay the bank. The bank has come back. They have taken the building from the church. The church is scattered and nobody's there anymore. There are so many ministers that never fulfilled their ministry because there was no helpers. And people don't know that to receive helpers, you have to be in the place of prayer. People don't just connect with you. God moves people into your life in response to your prayer. I said, people don't just connect to you, whether it is business, whether it is ministry, whether it has to do with job, people don't just connect with you. People connect with you based on the response of your prayers. As you pray, God will strategically position people to help your dreams. If you are not praying about it, you can't connect with your financial boas. You cannot connect with people that will help to facilitate things in the natural to help that vision come to pass. You can have a great vision from God and that vision made no way. It never went anywhere. The vision died. This is why so many dreams, so many visions, people have ambition in their heart. People have great dreams. They have things they want to do. But those things never come to pass because there was no helpers. One helper from God can bring ten helpers. One right person that step into your life has a, posi- it has a potential to reposition your destiny. One right person. That was why Jesus said in Luke chapter 10, he said, pray you therefore that the Lord of the harvest will send laborers. He's talking about God sending helpers. People that will help in reaping the harvest. The harvest is of God, but you alone can't reap it. You need people that will consistently keep in prayer. You need people that will stand with you emotionally, mentally, concerning the vision. You need people that will stand with you financially, that the vision will continue to move in the direction of God's will. Dreams without helpers will become a nightmare. Dreams without helpers will die. 
This is why a lot of people keep dreaming, but nothing happened. If you look at the life of Joseph, you will see how God strategically positioned people to help that dream to claim. God positioned Pharaoh. God positioned Potiphar. They were people, the Ishmaelites. His brothers could have killed him. They could have ruined his life. But they sold him out to the Ishmaelites. They bought him. They sold him out as a slave. All of those things are, there is a supernatural hand of God that was helping Joseph to navigate through all of those difficult situations. The Ishmaelites could have killed Joseph if they wanted to kill him. The, the, the Potiphar could have killed him if he wants to. Pharaoh could have killed him. In, in prison, he could have died. But you see, all of the opposition that Joseph went through was moving him into a place of destiny. All of the things he was going through, God strategically positioned people to help out on that dream. The scripture said that strangers will build your world. Strangers will feed your flocks. People you don't know. This is why you need to begin to pray that God will send you helpers. People that have the potential to tell this person, please, could you help her concerning that business? Could you give her that job? This is where we need favor. Prayer and favor is strategic in receiving helpers of your dream. Prayer and favor is strategic in receiving help as sometimes a person can be going from church to church from ministry to ministry they are looking for who will be their pastor who can really teach them the word of God there is someone right now praying oh God send me someone that can teach me the word of God send me someone that can equip me they have gone to YouTube they have gone to everywhere looking for who will teach them the word of God because when, when, when they receive revelation they will be able to accelerate beyond their present level when you begin to pray, when you begin to trust God for favor, it will help to bring forth your helpers. Your helpers are people who accelerate your vision. They are people who help that dream to move from just being in, in the floor, from, from being on the floor to rising to the top. That is what helpers do. Helpers, that is what they do. The Tower of Babel could have not been possible if not for the helpers. Those that were, God saw it and said, what these guys have imagined to do, nobody can stop them. What these guys have imagined to do, nobody can stop them. Finish work international ministry could have not been able to reach more people if not for the helpers that God sent for television, for radio, for every platform that we're doing today on YouTube. God sent helpers to be able to move that vision forward. So when God gives you a vision, one of the things he wants to bring into your life is to bring in helpers. Human resources. Financial resources, material resources are needed to make this dream, this vision come to pass. I've seen people with a strong passion to do something great for God, with a strong passion to stand with people to make a difference, but that dream never went anywhere. That dream died in their heart. That dream was lost. That dream never came up because life is spiritual. As we pray, there will be release of helpers. Jesus even said it. Let's look at Luke chapter 10. You know, Luke chapter 10, I've uh, got to look at what Jesus himself said in, in Luke gospel chapter 10. And I believe that we'll uh, look at what Jesus said here in Luke gospel chapter 10. If this was not important, Jesus would have not made any fussy about it. In Luke gospel chapter 10, look at this, look at this. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Holy Ghost. Thank you, Holy Ghost. In Luke gospel chapter 10, I want to read uh, verse 2. He said, Therefore said he unto them, Luke Gospel chapter 10, verse 2. He said, Therefore said he unto them, The harvest truly is great, the harvest truly is great, but the, but, but the laborers are few. The laborers are few, but the harvest is great, but the laborers are few. He said, Pray ye therefore that the Lord of the harvest, that he would send forth laborers into his harvest. So it is God. Who responds to prayer and then send the people? He said you should pray. Jesus was teaching. He was talking. He said you have to pray as these laborers were coming into this assignment. He said you got to pray for laborers to come in. If these laborers don't come in, this harvest will get bad. He said pray you therefore that the Lord of the harvest would send forth laborers. Helpers are needed to prolong the life of a vision. 
I said, help us are needed to prolong the life of a vision. So from this day forward, you begin to pray, Lord, send laborers into this ministry. Send laborers into this business. Some laborers will come to give you ideas. Some laborers will come to give you new innovation. Some laborers will hook you up with people that will be able to introduce you to new products. Some laborers will be able to open new door for you to have great sense. So they come in different ways. So as you pray, God will begin to send people into your life. In Luke chapter 5, let's look at how Peter came out of a struggling business. In Luke chapter 5, until God send you help us, you can reap your harvest. Yes, help us are needed. In Luke chapter 5, I want to read from verse 3. He said, And he entered into one of the sheep, which was Simon, and he prayed him that he would toss a little from the land, and he sat down and taught the people out of the sheep. Now when he has left speaking, he said unto Simon, Launch out into the deep, and let your net for a great catch. Launch, launch, launch into the deep. Now when Jesus said this to Peter, Peter said something in verse, the next verse he said, and, and Peter said this, and, and, and Peter answered and said unto him, Master, we have toiled all night, and have taken nothing, nevertheless at that word I let down the net. Now listen to this. Peter was struggling, then Jesus came to help him. His business was struggling. A helpers of destiny are people who have the vision to be alive. Your vision, your dream, your, your assignments, your calling cannot go to greater heights until there are helpers. This is why Peter was struggling when Jesus showed up. He said, launch into the deep and he obeyed and great fish came. By that prophetic word, Peter received help. That prophetic word from Jesus helped Peter out of that lack, out of that state of lack and pain. Can I say this to you, people of God? Help us of your dreams and those who have that dream to live. For your dream to live, for your dream to be alive, your helpers need to arrive on time. I remember many years ago, I wanted to go to television in my city. And I have one of my leaders in my local church that told me, Apostle, I was going to help you to go to TV. And a few days later, this man traveled and he died in the journey. He died. And when I got a call that the man died, I felt it. He was one of our leaders in our church who felt it. I felt bad. After many months, I had a dream where I saw this man. And the man came with money and said, Pastor, this is the money for the TV ministry. And I woke up. Then I understood what happened spiritually. You see, our responsibility is to pray for those who are helping us. Our responsibility is to pray for those who are helping us, for those who are teaching us. A man of God may be put in your life to teach you the word of God. Praying for that man of God is your responsibility as he will continue to bring you revelation that you need for where you're going to because you need revelation to fulfill your dreams. Revelation is a resource. So when you have a man of God, a woman of God who is pouring revelation into your life, you owe them the responsibility of praying with them or praying for them and standing with them to ensure that this source of help you used to receive does not shut down because a man of God can be helping you and his ministry shut down. A woman of God can be helping you and her ministry shut down. So as we begin to pray, as we begin to speak the word, as we begin to pray, we are releasing energy into the atmosphere. Your helpers are people who are connected to your destiny for the purpose of helping you fulfill your dream. So what is God saying to us today? Begin to pray for those who are helping you. Begin to pray for those that God has called into your life. As you pray, God will release helpers with his favor. Those helpers will begin to help you to achieve the dream and the vision. People of God, listen to this. Without helpers, your dream will not make it to the top. Without helpers, your ministry will crawl until it dies. Without helpers, your business will crawl until it dies. A great business is built by people. A great ministry is built by people. A great life is built by people. So, 
from this day forward, begin to believe God for help us. Begin to pray for supernatural favor as you can fulfill your dreams. If you're watching this broadcast today and you don't know Jesus as your Lord and Savior, you can say this after me. Lord Jesus, I confess with my mouth, I believe in my heart that God has raised Jesus from the dead. Thank you, Father, for saving me. Amen. Well, I want to encourage you to subscribe to our YouTube channel. It's Faith Man Teaching on YouTube. And also encourage you to keep watching Finish Work TV. That's come. You can connect with me on Facebook. It's Faith Man of Weather. Until my next broadcast, don't forget this. There is greatness in you. For your partnership, you can do that on PayPal. It's Faith Man Teaching at gmail.com. God bless you. And I pray for you that your help us will come speedily in the name of Jesus. And they will stay. To help you build your dreams until you achieve all that God has called you to achieve. In Jesus' mighty name. Amen. I love you until my next broadcast. Don't forget this. There is greatness in you.